Hi guys, this is Ruben from Audimento and recently I have a lot of people asking me how to do dubstep on their software door. Yeah, so today I'm going to show you how to do dubstep and when we talk about dubstep, it's normally about one, the syncopated drum rhythms and number two, the wobbly bass, dirty bass, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you and demonstrate to you how I can create a simple dubstep uh, riff today. So. I have a pack of samples here that I've placed here for this tutorial but what you can do is you can actually play your own samples in or even sample them yourself from different tracks or different uh, music yeah so right now I have uh, a kick and a snare and we're going to start off with that and keep in mind that um, dubstep rhythms are always syncopated different from what you expect in a rock song okay so I'm gonna, just going to um, move my samples a bit to create a kind of rhythm and always be remembered that um, dubstep rhythms are always about 140, 140 bits per minute it's quite fast in fact yeah so all right so i'm going to create a syncopated rhythm right here by dragging them around okay so the kick goes like that and i'm going to recreate copy and paste one more here and go like Oops. So I'm gonna on a metronome so I can know my tempo. So I'm gonna copy this and put one more here. And the snare, I'm gonna get shorter, shorten up the tail and put one more at the second bit in the second bar. So one, two, pan, boom. Alright, so you create a kind of syncopated rhythm that will make it swing here. You know? It should be faster, something like that. Alright, so what I've created here is just something very simple for a start. And you can of course make many different variations, uh, more complex rhythms, dubstep rhythms, and basically go on with it, yeah. But for this demonstration, I'm going to do something very simple and I'm just going to copy and paste this over and over again, and it goes like that. Alright, you can also do a sort of a a fill in stuff like a fill here and to create a kind of uh, groove, yeah. So here goes. Yeah, hear that? So you can create as much as you want. Yeah. So now I'm gonna create. I'm gonna open up another instrument and basically play the hi hats over this um, track. So I'm gonna get the stock um, stock drum machine from Cubase. Of course, you can use any other drum machines to get the same exact sound. Okay, so I'm gonna load up something like let's say the electro funk kit and see how that sounds in our context. Okay, so I'm gonna play that down and basically quantize it to get it straight in there. All right, and I'm just gonna play flat eight on this drum rhythm. Okay, so here goes. Sorry about that, I forgot to put this thing on. Alright, here goes. Alright, you're probably hearing delayed notes because of the latency problem when I'm recording this in the screencast. So I'm sorry about that, uh, I can't get a straight rhythm right now. But you should be able to do fine when you have your software uh, running by itself. So I'm just going to fix some of the notes that went off place. Okay, because of this latency problem, I have uh, some notes going off place, but now it's fine. So here it, how, how it sounds.
All right, so you can create more groove with that, uh, come up with more different rhythms, and that's up to you. All right, so that's the drum part. Of course, you can put in more complex rhythms, more fill ins, more build ups, uh, more varieties of percussions coming in to give that groove and that syncopated kind of uh, rhythm right there. But now let's go into the bass part, and I'm going to show you how to make a wobbly bass. So I'm going to add another instrument and use one of uh, Cubase stock scene, which is the prologue. Um, of course, you can add in another, any other scenes, subtractive scenes, to make this kind of sounds, but uh, for this case, I'm going to use Prolog. And of course, if you are in Logic, you can use ES2. In, if you are in um, Reason, you can use um, the, you know, the other scenes that comes with it. And basically, let's load up a bass sound right now. Alright, so I've already chosen some... Uh, browse some bass and for this demonstration I'm going to use club bass which has this low end. Alright, so that's a bass you're going to use. So basically when we come to wobble bass, one of the easiest way to wobble a bass is to um, well wobble the cutoff and a cutoff is sort of a, a filter that cuts off the bright frequencies, the treble of your sound. So. You're going to wobble the bass looking like this. Alright, of course, you wouldn't be there to play and clicking your mouse to put it up and down like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to automate this thing, automate the filter cutoff. Alright, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the lower frequency oscillator to basically automate this thing, to make it move by its own. So what we're actually doing is we're actually making it go like that. Alright, so under the LFO section of your synthesizer, uh, you should have this in most synthesizers, yeah? So under the mod, I'm going to choose cutoff, which is here. And the destination, I'm going to put it up for a bit, 70, say. Um, and then I'm going to choose the MIDI and change it to a speed of, let's say, 1.8, which means it would wobble up and down. Um, basically in eight notes of my speed. So it's gonna go like in eight notes. Like let's say my eight notes go one and two and three, it's gonna one and two and three, something like that, all right? And I'm gonna put more depth so we can hear it wobbling in action. So as I increase the depth, I'm gonna let you hear how it affects the sound. Of course, you can do a lot to tweak the sound <coughs> by playing with other sounds, making it coarser, making it dirtier, putting some distortion inside there, some drive maybe. Yeah, but for for this demonstration, I'm gonna leave it as it is. Yeah, I can put in some white noise and basically make it sound dirty and bassy. Yeah, but right now let's go on go on with this and basically we can play this down in our software right now. Okay. Again, uh, I will have this latency problem where my notes will be delayed, but I hope you can go on with that. So let's record something down, shall we? Alright, so that's a simple bass groove and it's all out of time unfortunately. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack this by quantizing it. Alright, and I'm gonna go into and zoom in through to see whether I've quantized it correctly. So here goes. Here, I have to fix that, and basically, the rest looks uh, fine, I guess. Alright, make sure it's here. Alright, so when you come to dubstep wobbles, what you can do is you can come up with um, well, different types of variations. Like now, I'm only wobbling at a speed of 1 8, which is an 8 notes. Uh, in, in British terms, it's it's uh, quaver notes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate one of my tracks like this, okay? And in this track, which is the second track of this one, 
I'm going to go into LFO and change it to well, I'm going to change it to 116 so I can, you know, get a faster rhythm right there. Right? So I'm going to go to 116. And what I'm going to do now is instead of having all my notes in 1-8, I'm going to use some notes in 116. So for example, we have the first note right here. If you can see it, the first note right here, 1-8, 1-8, and this one I'm going to put it at 116. So I'm going to cut off like that. Uh, wait, maybe I don't want to cut off like that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute all my notes in the second track, mute it all, and coming here, I'm going to mute this one here, but in the second track, I'm going to load that up and put it as a note. So what happens is these two notes are going to be played as 1-8 and this one is going to be 116 and hear how it sounds. So let's say you want this one to be a 16 uh, wobbling and 16 red again. So I'm going to mute this up in the first track and in the second track, I'm going to unmute that. So you just go like that. Let's hear how it sounds from here. Alright, so that's how you get dubstep wobble. Uh, one of the most simplest ways to get a dubstep wobble. Of course, you can play with many other um, speeds and also sounds as well but that's up to you to edit and tweak and enjoy yourself right so i hope this short little tutorial helped you in making some basic dubstep rhythms and i hope you can expand from there and basically create great melodies great tunes and if you if you ever did something um, a tune or a song don't be shy to post them to me send me a link to them let me listen to it and i'll tell you what i think of them and again don't forget to subscribe